Hello all, and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with His commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you speak the words of your Torah in our mouths, and in the mouths of all your people as you. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and to study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai. Give her the Torah. May Donai bless you and keep watch over you. May Donai make his presence to you. May be kind to you. May Donai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Our first read today is Matthew 9, 35 through 11, 1. And Yeshua went throughout all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every affliction. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. <laughs> me. And he called to him his twelve disciples and gave them authority over the unclean spirits to cast them out and heal every disease and every affliction. The name of the twelve apostles are these. First Simon who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These twelve Yeshua sent out, instructing them, Go! Nowhere among the Gentiles enter no town of the S Samaritans, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and pro proclaim as you say, as you go, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You receive without paying, give without pay. Acquire no gold or silver or copper for your belts, no bag for your journey or two tunics, or sandals or a staff for the laborer deserves his food. In whatever town or village you enter, find out who is worthy in it, and stay there until you depart. As you enter the house, greet it, and if the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you, and if anyone will not receive you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet when you leave that house or town, truly I say to you, it will be more bearable on the day of judgment for the land of Saddam and Gomorrah than for that town. Behold, I am sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves, so be wise as serpents, and innocent as doves. Beware of men, for they will deliver you over to courts and flog you in their synagogues. And you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to bear witness before them and the Gentiles. They will deliver you over. Do not be anxious how you are to speak or what you are to say. For what you are to say will be given to you in that hour. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will deliver brother over to death, and a father, his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but the one who endures that to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next, for truly I say to you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher, and a servant to be like his master. If they are, have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of them. For nothing is covered that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, say in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, for him who can destroy both soul and body in hell, are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even if the hairs on your head are all numbered, fear not. So therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men... I also acknowledge before my Father, who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father, who is in heaven. 
Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a sudden, uh, and a sudden, a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever fi finds his life will be will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. And whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The one who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And the one who receives a righteous person because he is a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And whoever goes... Whoever gives one of these little ones even a cup of cold water because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, he will by no means lose his reward. When Yeshua had finished instructing his twelve disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in their cities. Luke eleven fourteen through 20 Now he was casting out a demon that was mute. And when the demon had gone out, the, man, the mute man spoke, and the people marveled. But some of them said he cast out demons by Beelzebul, the prince of demons, while others to test him kept seeking from him a sign from heaven. But knowing, but he, knowing their thoughts, said to him, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and a divided household falls. And if Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebul. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of Elohim that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of Elohim has come upon you. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, give us the Torah. Brukot Adonai Elohim, Malach Halom, Asher Nato, Lenu Torah, Met Vaishi, Alon Natal Betikinu, Brukot Adonai Natal Betikinu, Brukot Adonai Natal Betikinu, Brukot Adonai Natal Betikinu, Brukot Adonai Natal Betikinu, Brukot Adonai